Uh, now, a Looney Tune story out of Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Uh, let me show you this video. It's uh, a famous uh, synagogue, a shul, a, a, a school and synagogue for Orthodox Jews in Crown Heights, where uh, members, students of the shul, ended up vandalizing and tearing down one of the walls. <laughs> I'll go ahead and, and talk, I'll mute the audio here because the audio isn't important. The police had to come here. You can see that entire wall there torn down. It was because you can see some people inside the interior of the concrete wall there behind the paneling that was ripped down. They're protesting. They're staying inside there. See, there's the zoom in. <laughs> drinking some Coke. Is that kosher? Uh, because they rolled up some concrete trucks, cement trucks, and they were going to there's a tunnel system, apparently, under this shul in Crown Heights, and they were going to fill the tunnels in with cement. And these guys were protesting. They're like, no, we like our tunnels. We want our tunnels here. And so they sort of ripped across the wall and they they stood in the tunnels and it got weird. It got like here. Here's another shot of them pulling these guys out of the tunnel. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. The video is so bizarre, fully dressed with the hat. <laughs> He's like coming out from the manhole here outside the synagogue. It's like the end of a very weird Daver Copperfield trick. And then he just sort of runs away so he avoids arrest. And there were arrests. It got violent. It was sort of chaotic there. Uh, news crews showed up. And here's some of the arrests. And you'll see... I mean, some of these young men are like, you know, teenagers who are part of the school. There are students there and the police are trying to, like, talk everybody off the ledge and find out there's a bunch of rumors and speculation about where these tunnels came from. I mean, I'll be honest with you. In this day and age, I see the headline go by about tunnels underneath a synagogue in Crown Heights. And I'm suddenly afraid that these are like these pro Hamas terrorists who are building tunnels just like the real Hamas over in Gaza. Uh, but there's there's a lot of speculation and they're investigating to where these tunnels came from and why they're so adamant about keeping these tunnels and not filling them in with cement. There's some speculation that these tunnels were actually constructed and made during COVID so that they could surreptitiously and secretly get to the synagogue and uh, attend their lessons and their scripture readings and worship. Um, there's other suggestion that it had to do with the um, inner workings of the building next door and the ability to utilize a building next door without having to do a full construction. I, I Honestly, I'm sorry. I'm used to coming to you on a daily basis with as much information and facts as I can about a story. But on this one, it's just this bizarre, weird video that captivated people's imaginations over the last 12 hours. As you can see, they keep pulling people out of the wall it's like, you know, the clown car at the circus. Like there's more people and more people and more people. And we're still figuring out exactly what's up. It's the 770 Synagogue in Crown Heights. And uh, we'll hopefully get more information and more details about it.